Evening, the late Harvey Woolman remained politically active right up until the end. The former South Dakota governor died Tuesday at the age of 87, and just days earlier, he appeared at a campaign event for the current crop of Democrats running for office. Kelloland's Perry Groton spoke with Woolman's family about his political and personal legacy. A meeting this month with gubernatorial candidate Jamie Smith was one of Harvey Woolman's last public appearances before his death. That was really important to him and was so glad he could be there and part of that night for Jamie up in Aberdeen. Wolman's son Daniel says his dad was proud to be a member of the Democratic Party, but adds that he was always ready to cross party lines during his time in Pierre. He would work with others, whether in his own party or the other party, to accomplish good legislation. Daniel Woolman says his dad was especially proud of being the prime sponsor of a bill that created the medical school at the University of South Dakota. I think the medical school is the right decision. We have a couple hundred of our own kids getting medical education. We graduated our first class. At the time, you know, we did not have a four-year uh, medical school in South Dakota, and there was a need for to be able to educate and train doctors uh, for the specific work and unique work in the rural community of South Dakota and, the, and throughout the Midwest. Daniel Woolman says his father always placed the community and state's interests ahead of political gain, and his commitment of service to others has been an inspiration to future generations. What he taught me was the value of hard work, love for family, um, and a faith that will guide me all of my days. Perry Groton, Kelloland News. That he can't. Uh, Woolman's funeral will be Monday in Huron. Governor Nome has ordered flags to fly at half staff until then. We have a link to the funeral home with information about the service and his obituary with this story on Kelloland.com.